Hey there, viewers. Coronavirus has the highest chances of getting transferred from person to person through nose and mouth. In the wake of this madness, demand for face masks have skyrocketed in almost every country. Since stores are running out of stock on the regular, people are looking for alternatives. Many are even constructing their own. It is possible to make a face mask with the right materials and tools. Let's begin with the materials. Number 1. Fabric Your best bet is smooth but durable material light enough to keep the flow of oxygen, the kind of fabric that needs to work at the front of your nose. This will keep you comfortable while making sure you don't sniff in the virus. More importantly, you need to breathe. For this purpose, cotton would be the ideal fabric. You would also have to add filters at the front of the mask. This will allow better breathability. Two 10-inch by 6-inch cotton fabrics should do the trick. Once you've selected the fabric for the mask, you would have to pick materials for the strap. Number 2. Ribbon and Strings A strap has to be durable and flexible all at once. More importantly, it has to be strong enough to hold the mask on your face. Otherwise, there's no point in getting a mask. We think elastic strings are the way to go. The same is applicable for the ribbon. In case you can't find good ribbons, pick laces as an alternative. Before that, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. This way you'll stay updated with our latest content. Number 3. Sewing Thread This will help you put the strap and mask together. A weaker sewing thread isn't good for the mask. You'll need it in order to sew the mask, especially if you plan to add a filter to the front. Now that we have all the material required to make a DIY mask, it's time for us to go through the tools we would need. Let's begin! Number 1. Yardstick and Measuring Tape While talking about the fabric, we mentioned you'll need cotton of a certain length. To measure this, yardsticks and measuring tape are ideal. You can use them to calculate the measurement of the cloth. After that, you have to cut one part of the fabric. This is where our second tool will be helpful. Number 2. Scissors You've calculated the amount of fabric you need, but there's extra. You'll have to cut that part using scissors. Remember, you can use knives if you don't have scissors, but scissors generally have better handles, so be cautious. On top of that, the cuts you make with scissors are easier to control. Scissors are also easier to move and more efficient in comparison with knives. Number 3. A needle and thread or sewing machine You took the measurements of the cloth and made the necessary cuts. In order to make the mask, you'll have to sew it as well. A needle and thread are easier to control in comparison to a sewing machine. They're also easier to use. Sadly, they require precision as well as time. On the other hand, sewing machines are more precise. While you'll get better manual control with a needle and thread, you'll achieve better automated control with a machine. On the downside, there are higher chances you'll end up injuring yourself using the machine. Now before we continue, our channel does all sorts of informative videos. We recently released a video with important information on coronavirus and how you can prevent it. Check it out! Number 4. Iron After you've cut the fabric, you'll have to create pleats. This is due to the filter. For this to be successful, you'll have to make part of the cloth thinner. With that, the pleats will also help the air circulate. While you want to avoid the virus, you don't want to suffocate. So make sure you create pleats using an iron. You can also opt out of the filter. In such a case, pleats will be more important. We've spoken about the material as well as the tools you would require. Now let's go over the process of making DIY face masks. Step 1. Cut the fabric We've already picked cotton as a proper fabric. Keep in mind, cotton isn't the only fabric. Other breathable fabrics are available for making masks. For example, mesh may be a better choice for the air filter. If you're creating the air filter using cotton, make sure to use the thinnest part of the fabric. Step 2. Fold to create edges Just a few moments ago, we spoke about how you would create pleats on your mask. Well, this is where the process begins. You would have to fold the middle of the cloth and create parallel edges. Once you've done that, you'll have to stitch those edges. Step 3. Iron to create pleats After you've made the folds and stitched them, it's time for some ironing. There's no hard and fast rule about them. You can choose to iron in three pleats and make sure to leave a total width of 3 inches. Step 4. Stitch the sides Creating the pleats wouldn't be good enough if you didn't keep them in place. This is where you have to start stitching again. This time around, you have to stitch the sides of the mask and keep the pleats in place. Step 5. Move on to the strap Here's where it becomes interesting, creating the strap. There are many things you can use to create them. While we would recommend using ribbons and string, preferably go for straps that get to your earlobes. You can also opt for ones you tie to the back of your head. Once again, the strap would have to be stitched to your mask once created. This is where our last step comes in. Step 6. Stitching them together All your hard work has led up to this moment. You'll have to stitch a strap to the mask. Once this is finished, you're done. So are you planning to make a DIY face mask? Do you know anyone who's great at making them? Let us know in the comments below. We would love to hear from you. Enjoyed this video? 
Hit like, share, and subscribe to Bestie. Wait, what kind of bestie are we if we don't tell you about our other awesome videos? Go ahead, choose the left or right video, and enjoy.